All right, friends. What we are going to do today, we're going to start our engineering activity today. But before we do that, remember yesterday how we talked about force? Yeah. Remind me, what is force again? Angela. Um, pull and push. Pull and push on, on a structure, correct? Well, remember how we talked about force on Barca School? Yeah. Well, Mr. LaFleur was in here and he brought something no student has ever seen. Let's walk over to the kidney table, please. All right. These are the blueprints to Barca School. The blueprints are a set of directions that builders use to, to build a school. That's so very big. It is very big. If you look down below here, we have the architects. Those are the ones that design the building. We have civil engineers. Different engineers too. We have other engineers. We have structural engineers, mechanical engineers, and electrical engineers. So look at the amount of engineers that it took to build this building. So if you look here, it's showing you all about the structural pieces that are happening in the building. If you look at these walls right here, well these are kind of like the beams. This is what supports the weight of all the floors. It looks very complicated, doesn't it? Very, yeah. All right. So let us come back to our seats, please. Let's talk about what civil engineers need to think about when they design bridges. Um, how big or um, small will be, or, and um, how um, strong or, um, or not strong it will be. How big the structure should be. And I like this one about how strong a structure should be. Will it push or pull? Oh, what's that word that we can use to call it that? Who can help them use, a, use that word that describes both? Kaylee? Force. The force. They need to consider the force on a structure. Anything else? Um, if it will collapse or not in the materials that they have to use to make it strong. I like that. I like how we're talking about the collapsing as well as the type of materials. What are we doing right now? Which step of the engineer design process are we doing? Ask. Why? Because we were um, doing some to think about. They're needing to think about. They're asking about safety. So, you are right. We are asking questions right now because we don't know any of these answers yet. So, before I talk about today's activity, I want to show you our question. How does the structure of a bridge affect its strength and how can we use different materials in our bridge designs? We're going to first investigate this question. How does the structure of a bridge affect its strength? In your groups right now, we have different pieces or materials for you to construct three different kinds of bridges. Let me model for you what those bridges will look like. You're going to build a beam bridge, a deep beam bridge, and an arch bridge. The beam bridge uses the abutments and four index cards like so. Okay? The double beam bridge uses one index card, the accordion card, and then another index card on top. And then the arch bridge you use an index card to create the arch and put this, an index card on top. You have a comparing bridge design where you're going to be building each one of these bridges and you're going to be testing them using the force. You want to record how many weights did it support and you also want to record what happened when it failed. That way we can really closely watch. 
Let's do the cups first, please. Oh, see how it changed? Hmm. Double double If it can't hold I didn't drop it in, so it holds it four. No, I shouldn't come. put my forty-nine. It's the whole entire every single thing. It holds four to every one. So the arch was least likely. It did not. It, did it not only hold, hold it up two. It held up it two. It only hold. It only held. held up two. four. The beam bridge. Had held up six. six. So the deep beam would should be able to hold the be most stable. What I'd like you folks to do is look at these questions. Look at these sheets. I want you to start talking to each other about X where the weight went to, arrows to show me the directions that the bridges might move as you added the weights, okay? So guys, where do you think it fell on the beam bridge? The cup was right in the middle, like right here. So, and then we kept putting weights in it, and then it went down, 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 and then all of a sudden it just fell. Take out from your green folders your data sheets for me, please. Take out the ones that have all the bridge information on it. Which was the bridge that held the least amount of weight? Uh, Jada. The How much weight did it support? Eight. Eight. With how much weight? Three. Oh. Three. Oh, you guys, it was a completely different. Wow. Okay. Interesting. And who's the last group that I haven't talked to yet? Uh, Kaylee? Beam. With how much? Two. Two. Talk about those numbers with your house members for a minute, please. That's kind of confusing to me because wouldn't it be the same thing if if it's if everyone does it in? Maybe they threw it in and then they got the lace. Like, like threw it. Like but these groups are the ones that talk about not throwing it in. So do you think they would throw it in if they're telling us to not throw it in? All right, friends, let's let's talk. John was telling me why they have the beam bridge and we have the arch. He said maybe they were throwing um, the weights in. So you're thinking that you guys threw in your weights? We did. Oh. Well, at first, and then you told us, then Grace told us to drop them in lightly, so we had to do it all over again. So you redid your experiment again, so... This ended up being when you place. Well, we didn't redo that one. We we did all the others. Wow! 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 That is a huge realization. They just admitted, which is fine. Thank you for admitting. I love honesty. That they redid the other experiments using light weight, but they forgot to go back to the arch bridge and gently place it. Is their data off? Yes or no? Raise your hand, yes. Raise your hand, no. Did they do something different for one bridge than the rest of the bridges? Yes. So can we use their data? No. Because it's not treated equally. That's a hard lesson to learn, isn't it? And on that note, Let's get ready for lunch. We're now going to start looking at the second question. Read it with me. How can we use different materials in our bridge designs? So tomorrow we're going to be looking at our bridge designs. But before I want you to do that, let us look at our materials. I'm going to pass out bags, to, baggies to each group. You may take them out and explore them with your group members, OK? How did oh, it I get it? This We're could be like a lamppost. Yes, but, but of, sort of remember on Mr. Bell's sculpture, he used 
he used this, is this for, for the cables to stand it up. Maybe that would be good. What's one of the materials that is in your baggie, Jada? Let's look and explore the craft stick. What can you tell me about it? What attributes are there about it? It's made out of wood. Okay, it's made out of wood. What else can you tell me about it? Grace? It's an oval shape, but it's skinny. Okay, so it's skinny. Skinny, oval shaped. Compared to the string, what is it like? Is it flexible or stiff? Stiff. All right. How can we change the shape of this material? What can we do to it in order to make it look different? Break it and tape it together. We could break it. Break it. Could you also, instead of breaking it, could you cut it? Cut it? Yeah, cut it. Cut it. <laughs> All right. How would you use the popsicle stick in your design? We, we could tie the string around it so it would be like the post of the cable. Oh, let, let, could we use, so we could call it a post? In case you can't find a cable, you can use a popsicle, popsicle stick. So, so it could act as something to suspend from? Oh, a suspension piece. All right, so we're going to wrap up and finish the next three items tomorrow. We just talked about the numbers and the position of the weights and how that could affect the numbers. And then one group said at the very end, and this is what we end the lesson on, oh, we forgot to go back and, and fix our plan because we were throwing in our weights and we didn't do that to the other three. And so it just really created a good validity to understand how validity works in, in collecting data.